uh, case five. I can do this one. Um, so it looks like from here in like the um, superficial dermis, there are some like brown, um, like yellow brown structures. Um, and like the shape of them, you can think like looks like bananas. Yep. Um, so this one is good for ochronosis. Yeah, once you've seen this, like, I mean, this is the thing, right? Like, I don't think anything else really looks like this. Ochronosis gives you this yellowish, uh, brown uh, kind of appearance. I think, if I recall, the name comes from uh, ochre, which is like a pigment that's got a yellowish brown color used in in uh, paint production. And the only reason I remember it is because as a kid, my grand before Bob Ross, uh, the, the painter with like the permed out hair from like the 70s and 80s my grandparents would watch that and at their house i would always watch bob ross and he's like we'll take some yellow ochre here and mix it together with titanium white or something like that and then he'd paint a mountain or a trees and if you haven't watched bob ross go and google that and thankfully he's had a resurgence uh posthumously uh which is really cool because i i think he was such a happy nice guy and always painting like happy trees and mountains so uh, there, if you want a little joy in your day, go watch a Bob Ross video and see some cool painting. And I guarantee you at some point you will hear the word ochre, but, uh, maybe that's all wrong. And that's not where the name for this entity came from, but I think I'm going to leave it in. But I think that, that I did hear that once, but anyway, ochronosis, you get these brownish yellow banana shaped, uh, things. And what this is, basically these are thickened, uh, usually elastic fibers. I think collagen bundles can also get some deposition and material is depositing on them. And you have two main situations where this can, this, a pattern can arise and what are those um so it could either be with l captainuria or it can be like the exogenous form which can be from like multiple different medications but i think most commonly with dermatology we think of hydroquinone yeah exactly hydroquinone uh which i think is is used is it when people use it don't they use it for skin lightening yeah like it's in is it topical hydroquinone that does this yeah. Yeah. So topical hydroquinone can be, people try for skin lightening, but then paradoxically can cause this deposit to accumulate, which then makes the skin have a dark appearance. Um, and uh, I have another video, I think, that I've made about this in the past. And people have asked me, like, how do you treat this to make this go away? And I, and I don't know. So um, if you're watching this, I, I'm sorry, because I know skin pigmentation issues can be a real, uh, real problem for patients and really, you know, very morbid. So uh, certainly it's, a, it's an issue. So that's, like you said, exogenous ochronosis. And much more rare, at least in my experience, is when people have the, the uh, um, genetic disease alcaptonuria, which is a, what a homogenticic acid oxidase deficiency. And they can have a black or a darkly brown discolored urine and then deposits of pigment in their uh, skin on their elastic fibers and sometimes the collagen bundles as well. And so microscopically, to my uh, knowledge, they have the same appearance. You just have to put together whether they have the, the other features clinically that would support having the, the inherited genetic disease or if they've been applying a topical hydroquinone. So that is uh, ochronosis. And I don't see it very often, but it is uh, quite cool to see microscopically because it's a very distinct uh, appearance.